made my ball go down and it's being overlapped by the hill and I want the ball to be in front of the hill. So what I would do is I would select either the uh, ball or the hill, it doesn't really matter. And I go to arrange and then order up at the top, arrange and then order. And then if because the ball is selected and I want the ball to come to the front, I'm going to click on bring to front. Notice that there are some keyboard shortcuts, control shift upward arrow. So if you memorize that, then you don't have to go through, you know, the menu options. And then you can see that my ball is in front. Oftentimes when we're animating, we have things that we want to stick together. Um, so we don't want to have to move it every single time. So an example might be if I added something onto my ball, let me go ahead and add a shape real quick. <clears throat> Let's say I wanted to put a triangle. on top of my um, my ball. Let me change the color real quick. Okay, so I have this triangle here, and as I move this triangle along, I would like it to stay with the, the sphere. So well, how do I get it to stick together without having to move it each time? Make sure that you select all of the shapes that you want sort of glued together or grouped together. And how you do that is you hold down your shift key and you click and select all of the shapes that you want. If you accidentally select another shape, so let's say I accidentally selected the hill, I like, um, you can see it's selected because it has this blue outline around it. So I just hold, while holding on the shift key, I'll click on it again and it will deselect that and while still remaining to so keep the triangle and sphere collect, selected. So how I do this again is I'm going to go to arrange and then all the way down at the bottom, you can see the option to group and the keyboard shortcut is control all G. So I'll go ahead and select group. And then you can see that the outline around the triangle disappeared, which means that now it is all included in the sphere and triangle shape. So when I move it, it, the, um, triangle moves with it.